Power BI is all the craze right now. So in this 10 minute video, let's understand what Power BI really is and create your very first Power BI report. Let's go. Start by going to powerbi.microsoft.com and click on the products and click on Power BI desktop. Download the free desktop application from Microsoft website and install it. Then open the Power BI desktop application on your computer and you will be greeted with a welcome screen like this. You might actually see a login screen as well. You can cancel that out and then you will come to a page like this. As I have been using Power BI for a while, I have got several other files here listed, but you can also close this one out using that X mark and you will get into Power BI. Power BI is a data analysis and visualization software. So using Power BI, we can take any kinds of data, whether the data is in an Excel workbook, a database like SQL Server, or even paste the data directly into Power BI and do the analysis. To help us understand how to use Power BI, I have made a sample data set for you. This has just six columns and about 1000 rows of data. It is from a fictional company called Awesome Chocolates where we sell and ship chocolates. So here is the shipment data for the year of 2022 so far. So locate that file in the video description below and download the file and then go to Power BI and use the import data from Excel button here. Click on it and point to the file that you have downloaded. You will get a navigator screen asking you what data you want in the spreadsheet. So select the data tab and this is the data that we want. You can straight away load it, but Power BI also gives you an option to transform the data. This is helpful if your data is not exactly the way you want or you want to do a little bit of data cleanup before doing any analysis. For now, let's just load this data. When you load the data, the screen will change and then now you will get a prompt saying build visuals with your data and your data will show up here in the fields panel. This is a good time for us to understand various components of the screen before we make anything within Power BI. The Power BI screen is divided into three main areas. You have got a ribbon on the top which is useful for accessing various features of the application. If you have used a tool like Excel or Outlook, the ribbon functionality is quite similar. You can use the ribbon to switch between different things. And depending on what else you are doing on the screen, some new ribbons may also appear. The second biggest area is your canvas area. This is denoted with the dotted lines. And this is where any data analysis that you are doing, any visuals or charts or tables will appear. And the third main area is the right hand side panels. These are the panels that you can use to kind of build stuff or change things. So for example, you can use the visualizations panel to insert a graph or customize how that graph is done. Likewise, the fields panel is useful to accessing any of the data points. Let's just build our very first chart and then we will go and understand how everything works. If you remember the data, it is a shipment data. So if I expand the data view, I can see that I have got all of these columns. For example, we have a country. So let's just see how many boxes we ship by country. So for something like that, a column chart is pretty useful. So I will click on the column chart and it will add a column chart on the screen. I'm going to move this here and then resize it like that. In this column chart, you have got X axis and Y axis. X axis is the horizontal thing here and I want to put country there. So just drag and drop country into the X axis. On to the Y axis, we will put boxes shipped and we will get a number of boxes shipped by each country. As of this data, Australia has the most boxes shipped and New Zealand has the lowest boxes shipped. And when you create the visual, Power BI automatically arranges them in the descending order of the data. Let's just say you're very happy with this, but you don't like the blue color. Now you don't like it too bad. I don't like it. I don't like it. You can change the color of the visual by selecting the visual and going to the visualizations area here and clicking on the format your visual option. From here, you can go to the columns and change the color. Sometimes it is very hard to remember exactly where everything is. You can also search for color here 
and all the color options will appear in the search results and from that the blue color is what we want to change so let's switch this to orange and we will get a visual like that let's add one more visual this time i want to see how things are happening by individual product so for that i'm gonna make a bar chart and we will add another bar chart when you click on the bar chart power bi will put it in any available space on the canvas and you can kind of resize it again and move it around as you want so in this bar chart we have got y-axis which is the vertical one and that's where i want to see my product and on to the x-axis i want to see again boxes shipped so we'll put that we'll see all our products listed one bar per product and again the default coloring is blue so far nothing seriously different about how you create charts from in excel or something else but here comes the first major difference of power bi if you were now to click on a specific country for example australia you can see that instantly all the australia related boxes shipments by product are highlighted this is a powerful and default feature of power bi this particular feature is called interaction where every visual is interactive by default the interactions go in any direction so for example if i pick on eclairs here i can see where we are sending eclairs so for example eclairs canada seems to be one of the biggest countries and when you point your mouse on that power bi will show you a helpful tooltip there to help you understand what is going on to go back to the way visuals are you can again click on the same thing that you highlighted and that will take you back to the way things are apart from columns and bars you can use any of the other visuals to analyze the data and see things for example if you want to see the trend of shipments over a period of time or how many how much amount we made over a period of time we can use a line chart for that let's just make some space for that so we will add a line chart and in this line chart on the x-axis i'm gonna put my date now date is a special type of data in Power BI and whenever you use a date it will create a hierarchy wherein the same date can be seen at year, quarter, month or day level. This looks a bit confusing but let's put y axis value here and then we will understand how that works. So let's add amount to the y axis. We thought we are going to get a line but we just get a single dot. Where is the line? This is because of the date hierarchy and right now power bi is showing me all the data added up at year level whenever there is a hierarchy involved power bi also shows these extra buttons on the top of the visual to go down different levels so if you use this icon i call this a pitchfork you need my pitchfork you can see the data at a quarterly level go down once more and we can see the monthly variations by the amount so from January, we started really strong. Then the chocolate sales kind of went down, picked up again in March, went down, and then they kind of went back up again. So this is how you can use a line graph to visualize things. Let's say you have presented this chart to your boss and she suddenly asks you, why did the sales drop in the month of February? You don't have to do further analysis. You can right click on that point and then you can use the analyze explain the decrease option so that power bi can do some artificial intelligence and machine learning analysis of your data for example it analyzed the data and it found some really interesting things so i'm gonna add one of these we'll select this visual and then click on that plus button there to add it to the canvas there using this it tells me that from the month of january to february our amount has gone down because even though milk bars and dark bites had more amount, these other products had significantly less amounts and that's why everything kind of got pulled down and we ended up having less amount in the month of February. So this, these are some of the features that are available within Power BI for you to analyze the data. Now that we have prepared a page of analysis, you may want to save this and share it with your colleagues or your clients. To do that, you can save the Power BI workbook using the save button here or file save. When you save the Power BI file, it will usually just save in your computer and you can give this file any name. To share this Power BI with 
another colleague or a person in your organization, you will now need to use the publish button. And this is where you will have to log into Power BI in order to be able to do that. If you go back to the Microsoft website, you'll see that apart from the free Power BI desktop software, they also have a pro and a premium package using which you can share and collaborate with others whenever you do the data analysis. So this is how within large organizations or small organizations, people use Power BI. They use the pro option or a premium option to create content and share it with others so that other people can enjoy the reports or files that you have produced. Now that you understand what Power BI is all about, why not spend a little bit more time learning about it? I've got two resources for you. Number one is this video where I talk more about Power BI with plenty of examples. And the second one is my online Power BI course where you can learn how to use Power BI to solve many real world business analysis problems. Check out the course using the card that is shown on the screen. I'll catch you in one of these places. Bye.